Welcome to my channel and I'm here to say my name is Quiche and I didn't come to play. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Here we go, let's start this video. Today's video is all about friends. I have personally went through a few things in my friendships over the years and I feel like this is very on time and very important to talk about because I don't think a lot of people talk to, talk about this subject and I really wanted to talk about it and you know add to the conversation if it is being had but I'm gonna go right into it there are some consequences and some benefits to having the right kind of friends um, first, we're going to start with the consequence that I put as number one, and it's not in any order. In Proverbs 22, verse 11, it says, He who loves purity of heart and whose speech is gracious will have the king as his friend. 1 Corinthians 15:33 says, Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. And last, the last scripture is Psalms 20, 26 verse 4 through 6 which says i do not sit with men of falsehood nor do i consort consort with hypocrites i hate the assembly of evildoers and i will not sit with the wicked our whole intent in this walk in this life um, at least mine is is to be right with god and to be going to heaven after this so a lot of times we don't identify the things in our lives that's going to keep us from that narrow path towards Christ. And getting saved and being a believer and going to church is not enough. It's not enough. That's not enough. That's that's not enough. It just really isn't. And that's um, why I want to mention when the friends that you have are not in alignment with God and not sent by God. Because the enemy does try to steal kill and destroy what you have your gifts your talents your purpose he tries to make you someone you're not he tries to distract you and assassinate your character and your integrity in order for you not to be effective in the kingdom of god and i believe that as a kingdom child a citizen of the kingdom it's important for us to tell each other and identify the things that are not right and for me this took um some hard lessons because i did not get it i understood that the friends were important but i didn't want to you know really see it as spiritual because everything in this world is spiritual and another thing that happens when you don't have the right friends is that you will fall romans 16 verse 17 says i appeal to you brothers to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. Also in Proverbs 16, verse 26, it says, A man of violence entices his neighbor and leads him in a way that is not good. And then Proverbs 12, verse 6 says, One who is righteous is a guide to his neighbor, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. So you can be righteous, you can be right with God. That's what righteous means. But you can be guided in the wrong direction that's away from God. And that is associated with the friends and people you surround yourself with. Um, a lot of times if we're not being aware and sensitive to the people that are around us, they can lead us into a path that's far away from God. So when it comes with the enemy, he does try to send people to divide. It's a cause of vision, whether it's in a church, in your house, in your family. And those people are people who they create op obstacles for you. It may not always be like, um, like noticeable at first. For example, if you were speaking to one of your friends and they always come to you and they're telling you about other people and they're assassinating other people's character in order to get your mind to think a certain way or think a bad negative way about someone else that is someone causing division that can happen anywhere in your at school at church just there's just certain people who they use gossip and they use information whether it's true or false 
for you to be led away from certain people or certain situations. And it's important to identify the, that those people are not your brothers and sisters in Christ. They may say that, they may have that title, but you have to really know people by the fruits and the spirit that they're working behind. It's also dangerous to have the wrong friends. The first reason why it's dangerous to have the wrong friends is because you become an enemy of God. That is insane and crazy and real deep and something that I would never ever want to do is become an enemy of God. It says, you adulterous people, do you not know the, that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. That's found in James 4.4. 4. And it's very clear, plain, straight to the point. Um, you don't really need somebody to tell you how to interpret that. The truth is, is when you're friends with the world, now the world is people who are not of God. We know the difference because we have discernment and we have it in our heart. Those people who are not following him, not being obedient to him, not dying to their flesh. You know, those, those are all things that need to be occurring when you have friends. And for those people who are not in, in with the friends of God, they're enemies of God. There's no in between. There's no, um, sometimes they go to church and sometimes they talk to God and sometimes they pray and sometimes they do things. Sometimes that's lukewarm and God spit that, spit that out. So he, you're also becoming an enemy of him. The second dangerous thing that happens when you are, when you are friends, um, of people who are not of God is that you suffer. It says in Proverbs 13 verse 20, whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. So you literally put yourself in harm's way if you're in company with people who are not using wisdom, who does not who don't have wisdom. You get wisdom from the word of God, you get wisdom from being in his presence, from getting revelation when you're reading the word. When you're renewing, I don't want to go too far ahead, but there's just certain things that you do in order to be wise. And if that person is not seeking wisdom, then they're a fool. And those fools will put you in a place of danger and harm. The third dangerous thing about having friends with the world or being friends with the world is that it brings darkness. And in Ephesians 5 and 11, it says that take no part in unfruitful works of darkness, but instead in expose them. Okay, so this does not mean that you literally supposed to like put people on blast and expose them like that. But you do bring light and truth to it. As a son and daughter of Christ, if we know that we have a friend or we've associated with people who are doing things that are not of God, you can expose that by telling them, by speaking it out, by um, also bringing light to yourself and letting you know, letting yourself know that that's not okay. Um, that the things that they do or the things that they say that are contrary to the word of God is not supposed to be in your atmosphere. It's not supposed to be um, like joined together. So that's why you would want to separate yourself from that and also... Don't continue being around them. And it can be hard when you love your friends and you really want them to make it. You really want them to go to God. You want them to be saved. But only Jesus can save. Only Jesus and through the blood of Jesus is the way people are saved. He's the way, the truth, and the light. And if you want your friend to really um, be in the kingdom of God, that's your opportunity to be the light. In um, Matthew 5, verse 16, it says, In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So it's your good works that makes the difference. The works that you do will make the difference in their life. And that does not mean that you can, you have to be their friend. We have to be super close to them. You can be friends at a distance. You can be friends apart and let your light shine. Your light is bright enough to reach them. And so when you are, because if you're not careful with that, again, it says in the word how the righteous can guide their neighbor, but the, the way of the wicked leads them astray. So if you're trying to guide them, you're still trying to be close to them and around them the whole time, that will eventually lead you astray. 
And then the next thing is that when you have good friends, iron sharpens iron. And that means just means that when you are in the kingdom of God and you're around other people and fellowshipping with people who are of, who are of God, you, you, you will be sharpened. You will be um, pushed to do things of God. You, you will know how to how to act, how to behave. So also you want to be that person for others, other believers. You want to be someone who's an example, who's a leader. You're automatically a leader in your life. Um, some people don't notice that, but if there's people who want to be your friend and they want to learn something from you or get something from you, that you're in a position to lead them. And then you also want to realize what it says in John 15, 12 through 15 it says this is my commandment that you love one another as i have loved you greater love has no one than this that someone lay down their lay down his life for his friends you are my friends if you do what i command you no longer do i call you servants for the servant does not know what his master is doing but i have called you friends for all that i have heard from my father I have made known to you so this scripture is all about how Jesus sees us as friends not as servants not as um anything else but as his friends because we obey his commandments and we listen to him and, sh and show him that we are striving to be more like him more like God you know in the kingdom we are called to transform and the best way to transform is to change your friends change your surroundings go into places with the mindset of knowing that you are a child of god and also you want to recognize that galatians 5 and 2 says and those who belong to christ jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires so you may have the desire to hang out with those friends those ones that used to get in trouble with and that you love and hold dear to you but we have to cruci crucify our flesh and that's a daily thing and the best way and the only way to do that is if we renew our minds from romans 12 to do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what it what is the will of god what is good and acceptable and perfect. So this is very much key. This is why I made it the last point of this video today. Um, because you're going to be tested. Mm -hmm. And when you're tested, it's very, very important that we discern what the will of God is. And that's why we're tested. Because if we don't aren't tested by things, then we won't know what God wants for us. We won't be on a path and we'll just stick to it because we're like, oh yeah, this is nothing happen i must be on the right path so you want to really focus on renewing your mind and changing who you surround yourself with in order to be more like christ and in order to be a son and a daughter in the kingdom of god um i hope you guys like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one